Look at our fucking badass armor. God damn. You know, game, sometimes you giveth, sometimes you taketh away. This time you have giveth. All right. We are back in Exonima. When we last left Exonima, uh, I had just locked uh, a very scary dude in red, that guy, and the skeleton right there who's hanging out by the door. Uh, these guys are sufficiently locked in this room. But, so is my sword over by the red guy there. However, <laughs> however, um, yeah, I, I don't even know if I would call that my, um, favorite sword. It was just a sword I was using probably as a, a kind of a compromise between what I want to use, which is a great sword. Uh, I was liking how those uh, feel and swing, uh, and just kind of responding to some of the comments and advice uh, that I was getting, particularly for these levels, uh, where people were noting that the great swords uh, weren't going to do much damage, and I needed to get something with high impact uh, and maybe some crush. And that web, that sword, I think, was called the Executioner Sword, um, and it had uh, impact equal uh, to this mace. Uh, but it had no crush, but, um, seemed like a good compromise. Uh, however, um, as I was, uh, loading in, I realized that I had unlocked my next, uh, skill, which meant I could now dual wield. So I am now dual wielding, and I'm less concerned about that sword. Um, truth be told, this is probably my favorite weapon in the game. Uh, since I have unlocked the Proctor Seal, I've gone back, um, and, uh, played... Uh, just on my own, uh, without recording, uh, just messing around with a Proctor start, and oh boy, is that, is that fun and a, and a nice change of pace to just kind of walk through those three levels with great ease, um, with, I think he starts with this weapon, he starts with some really good sword, and I'm pretty sure it's the sword that you pick off the dead body of the Proctor. So, I am dual wielding now, uh, so I've got a, my favorite sword, which has some decent impact, it's not the best, nothing to write home about, but it's not bad. Um, and also using this mace, regardless of whether they're in the correct hand or not, uh, whatever, that'll remain to be seen. Uh, yeah, I've mentioned before, I'm not good at this game, nor am I ever gonna get good. I really just like exploring, uh, the, the collective creativity of others, so the, the world building and the, the lore and all that stuff. Um, in the intervening period, uh, I have gone in, I did not know you could dual wield in the practice arena, so I was dual wielding in there, a uh, bit of a mixed bag. Dual wielding is bananas. It's arguably overpowered. <laughs> it is kind of insane to be able to um, hit somebody and have that that second hit just kind of come back on them. And I was able to sneak in so many hits. However, um, what I kept finding was that dual wielding uh, was causing the hands to stop holding the weapons correctly, um, and the weapon would get stuck inverted. Uh, or stuck in the wrist or up in the forearms. The weapon would be stuck in here, and because this is a physics-based game, those swings were basically useless from that point forward, and you can't pause, so I was having to defeat people um, and then try to figure out how to rearrange my weapons and get them to reset themselves. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. Hopefully that's a uh, practice arena-only issue, but either way, we're going to play around with it a little bit in here. I also took uh, my next also took my next skill, uh, which was Concentration Continuity 2. So I can both, uh, sense minds and turn people into my friends. Now there were, uh, a few comments in the last episode, uh, about what exactly caused that horrifying betrayal, which I will say is probably some of the most fun I've had playing a game in quite a long time. Um, that whole thing shaking out the way it did was, was, uh, absolutely uh, kind of bananas and a ton of fun. Um, but uh, I had no idea <laughs> how it works. I actually have also since read the manual cover to cover. Uh, really not much more in there than I expected there to be. Not really much more in terms of giving me a solid understanding. And there was even some, some discussion as to exactly what caused the betrayal um, in the last episode. So I still am kind of sitting uh, in the, in the mind that, uh, that skill <laughs> of loyalty is all but useless. I don't know that I can trust it. Uh, it seems like there is, uh, 
there's probably some way to determine how strong your bond is or to make your bond stronger. It even talks about that in the manual, like your bond needs to be strong and the magic needs to be performed well, but I, I don't really see much in terms of visual or, or auditory feedback or whatever. I could just be missing it, but it's also a really early access game. That stuff might be coming later on in development. So, you know, I think it does uh, offer an opportunity to... We'll go ahead and get our mind sense going. It does offer an opportunity to cheese the game a bit. Like, I even could turn these guys into friends one at a time and drag them out. Um, I don't think... You know, I was- I- I was going to... I don't think I have anything that will make them mad at each other. What is this? Whoops. Confusion? Yeah, I have all loyalty and calm stuff. Um, all these things take other... Um... All these things take other abilities that I haven't taken yet. I'd have to take other things here, which I haven't done. So I can't even spend this point that I have because I can't- it's either unavailable or I need something else. I think the plan for this one, probably for the next couple of episodes, is going to be to see what there is to see uh, in the remainder of this early access. Uh, I'm not sure if I've seen everything on this level, but I know we have come to uh, a couple of doors uh, that go nowhere. Um, and so the, the content hasn't been fully fleshed out yet. Uh, I don't typically like to play early access games this much, especially when they're this early into early access, or there's this much left to do before they're 1.0, mainly because I don't want to wear them out. Uh, I like to support the devs, pick up the game, maybe play it for like an hour or two, but I think right now I'm probably at about 55 hours in total on this game. Um, but in for a penny, in for a pound, uh, there's probably only a couple of areas left that I haven't perused, and, um, after the last episode and, you know, wanting to learn more about Thaumaturgy and the comments people had made, I just kind of was like, you know, I'm not, there's nothing to spoil. I'm just gonna go look up everything that I can and just kind of, you know, like I said, read the manual, watch some other people's videos and check some stuff out. And it seems that the untold horrors that await me uh, are each worse than the one before on every level I'm about to go to. <laughs> it's like all manner of monster and horror everywhere from this point forward. But I figure we'll go poke around to see what it looks like. See what, uh, see if we can pick up some lore. Um, all right. I have... I think what it means I have now is two continuous abilities, which means I've got continuous mind sense going, so I don't have to worry about that. And if I see anybody, I can turn them into my friend uh, if I wanted to, and we can maybe use that to cheese weapons off of them. Although, you know, we're kind of off the books at this point for me. Yeah, so the other thing we did is um, I uh, took off this armor. Um, I think the combined coverage and everything is better, and then also I get one less encumbrance, so... I don't know, if we if we stumble across that blue guy's armor, maybe I'll, um, switch to it. Have I been in here? Did I forget to come back here? I don't remember. No, I, I haven't been in here. I think this is where I, I was trying to stab through to get both of those guys who are now dead. Um, let's step in, let's see what this looks like. I'm worried that he'll be able to... Yes, he... Wait. Is this the skeleton room? No, who the hell is that? Who is that? Alright, well, guess what, pal? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can't move that, it's too heavy? Damn it. Alright, I'm a little nervous he might come through there. But... You know, maybe we pull the old, uh, turn him friendly, take his stuff. It's a bit cheesy, but so, I mean, so is the wall hack. <laughs> it's mind sense. All right, we definitely haven't seen that guy, so we're going to go in there for sure. Let me see if I can make him friendly. I mean, it's not going to do me any good. Like I said, I got punched to death by an unarmed skeleton in the last episode. So, you know, we know what kind of skill level we're starting with here. We can't be surprised at the outcome. All right, none of this is anything. Let's get our- ah! Oh my god, what do I do? It's, uh, four? Shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Now I gotta fight him. I missed. No! No, 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 no. Oh my god. Ha ha. Ha I missed. Gotta get used to the different ranges on these. I probably shouldn't have put two dramatically different ranged weapons. Oh, we're both stuck together. We can't move. 
Overhead, overhead. Uh, overhead. No, 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 no. All right, I don't like being in here. Uh, there you go. Uh, stepping in too soon. There's another one. Oh, and he got me. We are using the same weapon, that's hilarious. All right, let's try to back away and see if he'll trip over this. Will you trip over that? Trip over it. Yeah, good. Ah, oh, I missed. Got him with one, I think. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, shit. I'm st I can't see. I can't see anything. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, you guys need to make this these walls invisible. Ah, oh, fuck. Might be having a problem here. So no oh, awesome! Alright, I really like this sword. I, it's not doing as much damage, but whatever. It's just <laughs> more fun. Alright, this has to be the exact same thing as mine, right? Yeah, in fact, it won't stay open. The two won't stay open. Let's see if your... Oh, oh, you got a lot of stuff. Hold on a second. Let's, let's not get ourselves killed here. Alright, let's see what he's got. And see if it's any better than what I got. Uh, we're never taking off our favorite helmet. That's never, ever happening. Ever. <laughs> Alright. Alright, jerk, you're dead. And I got all your stuff. I look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm the most mismatched person on Earth, but... Whatever, your shit's mine now. Haha. -ha. And I don't think he took any- I took any red damage. Ah, shit, there's another dude. How many fucking guys are there? Oh, it's not even the same guy. It was a totally different dude. Holy shit. All right, let's do this. Let's make sure no one else comes to visit us. Can I close this door? No. Can I go through this door? <gasps> shit. Oh, God, man. That was a fucking close one. Oh, I can close that door, though. I can close that door, and I could probably... Calm people down. Are you trapped in there forever, I hope? Let's see what he looks like when he comes back out. Oh my god, it's dual wieldy guy returns! What is this shit? No. Dual wieldy guy, I don't got time for your nonsense. Is he trapped on the other side of this? Let's close this door, too. I've definitely died in here before. <laughs> I could say that about 99% of the places that I've passed in this game. Oh my god. Or missed. Didn't get it. Oh, what is that weapon? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm trapped, I'm trapped, I'm trapped! Run, 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 run! Okay, good. Here's a good spot. Fight here. There's a hit. Oh, he hit me too. I don't like it. No! Ah, oh, shit. I want to try that weapon out. I'd like to defeat you. Ah, fuck. There you go. Was that a hit on me? Get out of here! Oh my god! Arr! I need a longer second weapon. I'm liking reach. I need a long, blunt weapon. Oh, I should have closed this door. Oh shit! Well, that sucks. Oh, he got me. All right. Well, those are some cool. F that's some cool fucking armor. Why don't you leave the room? Leave the room. Don't. Don't. Uh, two. He's calm. V. Four. <gasps> it worked! Okay. Alright. Yay. Okay, let's at least get this shit off of you. Quick, in case this wears out. In case anything goes wrong. Oh, and you're just a skeleton under here? Uh. <laughs> Alright, well that's a cool weapon. 
No, I need it. It's mine. Yeah, you don't get weapons. No weapons for you. Gimme. Your shit goes in a pile over here. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take you. Come with me. I'm gonna try to lock you out. I can't believe you were a fucking skeleton under all that. Alright, here we go. Here's how we do it. There. Peace, loser. There you go. Alright. Let's take a look at all, <laughs> all this shit. And I really am wearing the most piecemeal shit on Earth. Alright, that's everything. Alright. We look less, uh, less intimidating than he did, but... That is what it is. Alright! Uh, I might just leave him out there. I don't, does it matter? <laughs> we'll get our mind sense going. I think he already took off. We got a scroll we can read, and then we're gonna go through this door. I don't know where that's gonna go. Oh, nowhere. <laughs> The situation is getting worse. Now everyone seems to be amassing weapons and other combat gear. They fear that there will be violence and want to be prepared. These items are being traded everywhere in secret, including some of our own equipment, which is greatly concerning. If someone were to impersonate the law, they could cause some serious damage, and no doubt I'd be held responsible. Very interesting. Ah, shit. Oh, god damn it. Oh, skeleton noises. Jesus, how did you get in here? How did you do that? I'm locking you in here. How did you get in here? All right, whatever. Don't fucking turn on me while I'm doing stuff. Oh, man. Jesus. Freaking Christ. Well, I guarantee you these are going to be better. Oh, by a, a, a heaping helping. So we'll take those. Bye to these. Mr. Skeleton, you're not getting anything at all from me. I'm, af I'm afraid of you. Oh, yeah, no. Jeez, man. Jeez. This is good gear I just found. What? This better be better than what I'm wearing. It's very encumbering, but... Uh... Slightly better coverage. A little more encumbrant. Man, I really found a good cure-ass early game. Whatever. We'll take coverage. I didn't... It didn't raise my encumbrance. I've got all the uh, maneuvering. Well, they fucking look cooler. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're awesome. Ah, none for you, Mr. Skeleton. This, whole, this room's got a ton of stuff. You ain't getting any of it. I'm locking you in here. Oh, nice. Another one of these things. So this is another thing with this game not telling you anything. And poking around, I found that these things, crystal emitting an intense blue glow, uh, gets slotted into armor and weapons and can do things up to and including... This has no slots, right? How do you tell? Up to and including recovering health? Oh, what? Is there like a whole outfit in here? Oh my god, I'm so happy. Cool. What are these, knee things? No, they're elbow things. Which I had elbow things. These are cooler. Oh my god, look how awesome we are. I'm not- I will never, ever be taking off my helmet, so... That's that. Alright, Mr. Skeleton, you stay right there. And then you just stay there, okay? Because... There you go. That's for you. Okay. Bye-bye forever. Hopefully. We shall see. Uh, I am so glad we found this room. I think I've locked... Where does this go? Have we been in here? Did I come out of here? Oh, it's a fucking bathroom. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is where I came through from the very beginning. Alright. That's fine. Where the fuck did that dual... The wielding guy come from? Oh, I don't know. All right, well, whatever. Look at our fucking badass armor. God damn. You know, game, sometimes you giveth, sometimes you taketh away. This time you have giveth. Armor's fucking awesome. All right. Uh, so the game crashed. Game crashed, took all my stuff from me, and when I loaded back in, uh, the guy, the red guy, was standing right on top of me and clunked me on the head. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I love that I had just said out loud. <laughs> sometimes the game giveth, sometimes it taketh away. Oh, it heard me too loud. Oh, that is so, so incredibly disappointing. That is really, like, a, a, a surprise level of disappointing. Oh, you know what, though? Is this the room? Is this- this is the room with all the cool stuff. Alright. At least I get my stuff back. I don't get my health back. That's really a huge bummer. I had half health. He clunked me on the head, and that's that. Alright, well, we know we like all this stuff. We're gonna put it on. Oh my god, what a bummer. <laughs> what a fucking bummer. Get all this crap out of here we know we don't need. Because there's a full set of armor in here, and boy do I like it. Alright, we are head to toe in the cool armor that I like. Not worry about that helmet. Just make sure. Yeah, I don't know where you slot stuff in. Where that would show, but... That's apparently what those blue things are for. Oh my god. Dude, you're wasting all my fucking thaumaturgy. Alright, whatever. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Jerk. What am I hearing? What are you doing? Don't be running like that. You have no- oh, maybe that's me. Right, whatever. You just- you calm down. You think about what you've done. Alright, so we're about out to where we were when we crashed. Though with a fair bit... One good head bonk less of health. <laughs> uh, I don't remember which way I went last time, but we'll just go this way. Well, I've never been here. Ever. Do I go there? Is that that sewer that's gonna have fucking nightmarish hell? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look around here. We're gonna for sure die. Oh, come on. Don't put stairs in your game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bare metal. <laughs> we'll poke around up here first, and then we'll head into that room. Oh boy. I don't have enough health. I'm gonna regret this. We got our mind sense continuously. I don't hear anybody. All right, going in. All right, we got a scroll, an old parchment. That silly nurse touching everything. She accidentally opened my secret study. All I could think to do is send her away in a hurry. I think she may have gotten entirely the wrong idea. All right, are we in the secret study? Is that another parchment? It is. Who needs the Guardian when you have the Great Taurus? What do I expect? To be hailed as a hero? If they knew what I attempted, they'd have my head. Alright. Well, something happened in here. But they didn't leave riches behind. Just lore. Though I like it. Alright. Have I been here? This shit looks so... I mean, everything about this entire... No, I've never been in here. I don't know if I'm ever going to find my way back out. <laughs> Whatever that was, but... Alright, let's close this door. And we're going to look through all this shit. So help me God. You better have a health potion in here. Oh, if this isn't the kind of place that's supposed to have a health potion. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, game. Well, I've already got way better stuff than this. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Guess I was supposed to find this first. <laughs> what the fuck is... Oh, I see somebody. Can't see him. Another fucking dual wielder! God damn it! How many of those guys are there? Is he going to come around that side? He's probably going to come around that side. I just locked myself in here with him. Is this like where I started? Where does this go? Have I been here? Uh... This is either the Golem level or the Sir level. Oh, I don't know. No, this is all new to me. All right, we found another spot. Cool. I'm very nervous about it. Somebody's in here. 
You have a big head? Looks kind of big. What is that? No, it's just a skeleton. Uh... Are you a friend? No, you're not. Alright, let's try to fight you. Oh shit, I'm broke! Ah, I'm stuck! Go, 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 go! Okay, cool. Nice. Nope, get off the thing. Oh, you fucker! Can't really see. Get him! Swing! Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't hold it long enough. Oh my god, I'm trapped forever. No, you get trapped. Okay, good. Back over that thing, trip on it. Ah, it swung around his head. Are any of these getting through on you? Oh, there's a good one. Ah, oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Awesome. All right, that made me happy. Oh, I was a little nervous, because this... <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy getting all of that armor and the game crashing. <laughs> they just took it all out of me. All right. I'm much happier now. All right. When I took this oath, I told myself life no longer mattered. Now that courage, that sense of purpose is fading fast. I look to the others for strength, but I find the same doubt in their eyes. They mocked us, and now I see the truth of it. This is senseless. What is this? A buckler. Do I have a shield? I do have a shield. I have a shitty buckler. Fuck that buckler. Here, give me your buckler. My buckler now. Oh yeah, I've never been in any of this. I don't even know where the hell I am. I hear more skeleton feet. Let's go close that door. Alright. We'll just close that for now. I'll deal with him in a minute. Maybe getting a little cocky. We'll see. Oh, this is the Sir level, because this is where I'm supposed to chase the fucking... take him to. Alright, we're gonna get it set up in case I gotta come here. I don't know that I'll ever find this again as long as I live. Like, I'm never, ever, ever gonna be able to find this again. Alright. I'm back in the market level, I think this is called. All right, well, we're going back in there. I'm not. What is, no, this is different music completely. Where am I? Oh my God, everything's different. All right, do I even open this? I don't like this. <laughs> Why is this music so much scarier, and it's bluer, and it's not good? I don't like it. Alright, that's a fire, not a person. This music is getting worse. Unless it's a person on fire. Alright, I'm fucking- I'm gonna go in there. Oh, God. Alright, alright, alright. What is that? Oh, I think this is where, like... Vampire type things are. Oh, I don't know about this. Is that gonna pop? What is that? Alright, we may be going back in. I, I wanted to poke around more in the Sir level. Alright, I'm going in a little. Oh, I'm gonna live to regret this if I live. Holy shit. I don't care for it. Oh, no. Dude. Ugh. There's, like, pods? What is that? What is that? I don't know if my mind sense is gonna work on whatever I'm sure to find in here. Alright, I now hear footsteps, and I see a white... Head. 
I'm a little worried about a white head. I'm also a little worried about walking in further. And I, I'm now also, I've gone too far to figure out how to get back where I wanted to go. Oh my god, there's like all these white heads. Like, what is this? Can I go in there? <laughs> Holy shit, okay. There's a thing. There's a thing. There's a fucking thing, and he won't move. Okay, I don't know what it is. There's no way. <laughs> uh. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna go back to where skeletons are. Wherever skeleton is. Ah, oh, fucking shit. We're going to where skeletons live. <laughs> we'll come back to this. This is, this is its own episode. Oh my god, I don't even know what the fuck those things were. I saw... Uh... A little bit of video... Of... Like, just way too many of those things ganging up on somebody. <laughs> and I don't know how tough they are. I'm sure they're too tough. But... Alright. There's skeletons and a giant monster in here. We can tangle with that for a little bit longer. For this episode, and next episode might be in order, uh, to go see those things. Hmm, what is this? Yeah, I have no idea how long this is gonna be, this particular episode, because there's been a couple of crashes. Huh. Oh, is this where I- oh, it is! It's where I fought that guy! You know what? I was super interested in this weapon, but, hmm, I don't know. Now I'm not so sure. Yeah, it seems like it'd be a little faster than a hammer. All right, well, we'll stick with our favorite for now. And you know what we can do? What we can do is we can check. We are somewhere near to close to where we locked Sir in. And we can find him. And if he's still, yeah, because all of this stuff is still here. So that means it didn't despawn. And so in theory, and, like, we're, like, right here. It's, like, somewhere here. I mean, all this shit looks exactly the same, but... Like this. It's right here. Yep, there it is. Okay! He's fucking locked in there. Awesome! They couldn't get out. That's fantastic. Let's go have a peek and see if this guy's locked. He is also locked. Oh, that's so good to know. I don't have to worry about trying to kill him. He's just trapped in there. Let's have a look at who you are. What are you? You are not a skeleton. I think you're a zombie. Yeah, you're just a zombie. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll deal with you. Oh, of course I miss. Oh my god, he's not swinging. Swing! Why are you not swinging? Oh my god, what's happening? I can't move. Alright, there we go. Come on. Okay, there. Swinging. That was weird. You can't step in. Oh, over the head! I can't with that! Alright. That was weird. Whatever. We got him. Jesus Christ. There's nothing I can't panic over. <laughs> oh, I have never been so terrified. I was attacked by a- <laughs> I was attacked by a huge dreadful creature. A demon, perhaps? I tried to control it, but though its mind felt completely unguarded, it was oblivious to my intrusion. I was only able to confuse it briefly and get away. I am defenseless against this thing. I dare not venture out again. These dead guards, perhaps, I could call them to action. I don't imagine they could do much against such a monster, but the distraction might cover the escape. All right, that's really interesting. I wonder if I was supposed to see that before I ever ran into him. I mean, I never really got to experience him, so. <laughs> uh, but that's interesting. So we can't do anything to him, uh, but we can confuse him, and I have confusion. We could probably play around with that and see what happens with him getting confused. Uh, I fear I don't have long left. I have abandoned my efforts to escape death. It was foolish, and yet I've accomplished so much. I must try to send word to Thaven. He will see the importance of my work, even though he is concerned with other matters. I believe Thaven's pursuits to be as hollow as my own, a stubborn refusal to accept bitter truths. After what I've seen here, anything seems possible. 
I will spend the rest of my days discovering what I can. I can still be of help. All right, so I'm guessing that's the guy who locked himself in here, died, turned into a zombie. Who knows how long he's been in here. He had nothing other than lore in here, though, but I do like the lore. Nice figuring out what all this stuff is. All right. Uh, I think this will be a good place to leave it. Uh, hopefully I'm able to pull something watchable out of this episode. I have had a handful of technical difficulties uh, putting this one together uh, with the crashes and, and whatnot, but uh, seems like it's all right now. Um... Either way, we did end up getting this really cool armor in this episode. Super happy about that, that I got to keep it. <laughs> a little, a little bit bummed after that first crash, um, thinking that I wasn't going to be able to get back to that armor. And it was also really cool to learn that uh, Sir is permanently locked in that uh, cage he has put himself in, so we can kind of wander around here freely and get some more practice uh, taking down skeletons that are, that are in this level. And then uh, we're able to clear through this Oh boy, I don't know if back into wherever those vampire things are <laughs> is any near future. It might be back into the golem level if we don't find too many more skeletons. Um, in the next episode, we'll we'll run down to the golem episode and start the hunt for tokens. We'll figure that all out next time. So subscribe for more Exonima, and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>